A West Country support group which helps gay asylum seekers says it's under threat due to a lack of funding. Bristol Pride Without Borders has a 100% success rate in getting asylum applications which were initially rejected approved on appeal. Lee Madden has been to meet one asylum seeker who is waiting for her case to be heard. She's asked us to change her name to Layla and not to show her face so the Home Office don't hold speaking out against her. Syria is a country torn apart by conflict. Being gay is illegal and has led to executions. You are in danger if, if they knew about you. They might kill. I was always scared and, 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 and hiding my, my sexuality and uh, I got persecuted and I had a, a death threat. Uh, so uh, this is why I had to escape. The death threats Layla received were from her own family. You're not allowed to be gay. And your family are supposed to be the ones that keep you safe? No, no, it's not the case. It, it's, it's, it's not easy living this, uh, this fear. Layla arrived in Britain nearly 18 months ago. She's still waiting for her case to be heard. The Home Office says last year in the UK, just over half of all asylum claims based on sexuality were rejected. The Bristol Pride Without Borders support group has successfully been able to intervene in court and get decisions overturned. The system is not fair. Uh, the Home Office tends to reject people whatever their circumstances and this is where we come in to appeal. And I think the reason that we are so successful in court is simply because our, our members are telling the truth. The project relies on donations from individuals and is trying to secure its future in these uncertain times. Refugee status has now been granted for 23 people they supported. Layla is hoping she'll be the 24th. The Home Office says individuals are only returned to their country of origin when it deems it safe to do so. It also says a review has now been carried out into the way asylum claims based on sexuality are dealt with. For Layla, the wait to find out if she can yeah. stay here continues. Yeah. Lee Madden, BBC Points West, Bristol.